So, Johnny, let's first of all talk about the lovely present ball here in the football. Uh, that's game. amazing. I mean, I, I came to see the match tonight. It's my, I was away. I've been on the road since December of last year. I've only been coming in and out of Ireland, like sort of basically to see the family and this sort of thing. So, I've missed most of the season. I've been keeping an eye on it, though, to see how the team's been doing. And I think Owen's done an incredible job. And um, I wasn't expecting this. And uh, the, uh, the club gave me this. And I'm speechless. I think it's just. It's. Uh, you'll have to go and have a chat with Christy Moore. Learn, learn how to play it now. But it's. Um, it's just you know like, like. I don't really know how to say thank you properly. Just told the guys anything you have to do for them, I will do. But I mean, I just. I gotta say, after watching the match out there as well, that was. was this and watching the guys play. You know, they've, they've, the the team has seemed so much better than the last team I've seen it. The way they're playing, the tackling is more committed. The, like I said, they look dangerous now all the time. You know. Got back to when you started following balls. We've been following a good while now since yeah. the first game was in 2008. 2002, I think it was. When I said it too. When I first, when I first, the year that we won the double, you know. I think somebody's dropped their earrings. I can't take it. Um, yeah, yeah but the 2002 was the. I was. I did the late late, and I got a phone call from um, my management in Germany to tell me the bows were looking for me, and I had found out they wanted uh, that uh, Kevin Hunting was. Uh, doing a testimonial the next day playing his last game for the team before going to England with his kids and his wife and I, he asked me would I come and you know just come to the match and I said I'd be delighted to and came and I ended up singing Hold Me Now and then I made friends with Mono and Des and Jerry all the people involved with the club and I've been coming since you know so just obviously what of Hold Me Now is it's a club song how does that mean to you to have that being sung by the football club oh, this is I mean, sort of it's such an honour. And now I don't, you know, like, that, that sounds shy. It like, like, sounds like sort of, uh, like, that's the thing you're supposed to say. But it is. I mean, like I said, if, you know, the first time that I heard that I sang it outside, you know, when I was here in 2002, just completely blew me away. I was only supposed to go out and sing along with the track, on mine to the track. And I, the boys left the microphone on, and I started singing along with it. And when they sang it, it's just, a, it's, it's, it's a different song. And the whole story behind it, I was told about when, you know, like them singing it to the fans over in Norway and stuff like that. It's the whole history behind it. It's um, it's it's just you know who wouldn't be honoured with such a thing? I mean, like I listen to that and then you know I I talk about it an awful lot when I'm away. You know, like sort of people are asking me about it, hold me now different aspects of the things that it's meant to my life. Winning the Eurovision the second time with it and then having the hit it was a hit in America and stuff like this as well. And then I think, and then as you're saying, and this my football team in Ireland, the Bows, like sort of they uh, they use it as the away song, you know, sort of and. They do a brilliant version of it. You haven't heard it properly, I normally say, until you hear the Bows sing it, the Bows fans sing it. Hopefully we're going to see it soon again. Obviously, yeah, Absolutely. Next yeah, I just said, Tone, anything, you know, any, anything you're doing in the future, by all means, let me know and sort of I'll be there.